Okay guys, this is my first video on here and I'm not a really good speaker so this is probably going to come out all wrong but I'm going to give it a try anyways because I think this, uh, this topic is something very important. Well I agree there, this is definitely an important topic but not for the same reasons that she thinks this is an important topic. And I'd like to address it in some way or another. So either way, first of all I'd like to tell you a story of something that happened to me a couple of months ago. So. I love stories. Um, I was at uh, an Asian restaurant with some of my friends from the university and we, um, we went to get some food and I was stopped by a man who came up to me as I was grabbing some rice and he asked me, are you Japanese? And I said, no, I'm not Japanese, I'm, I'm Swedish. And he said, no, no, I mean really, where, where are you from? You, you can't be from here. And he had a hard time believing me when I said that I was Swedish. So that was something that really got me thinking and then I wouldn't think about it too much because that was probably just his pickup line he was trying to talk to you. Something that annoyed me even more was that, you know, in the afternoon, the same afternoon, um, I was stopped waiting for the tram by this guy. And yeah, this is an attractive woman's problem. They're going to be approached by different guys because they're attractive. I thought he just wanted some directions or something like that, but um, he asked me the same question. He wanted, he wanted to know where I was from. Okay, that would be getting annoying after a while for sure, uh, but it's just a bad pickup line basically. They have nothing else to say, so they're trying to say, okay, you're probably some, from somewhere else. That's their opening line. And because you are not of um, Swedish or Caucasian heritage, that's why they're able to pick up on that and say, hey, oh, uh, where are you from? I, I think this is something really interesting because I get this a lot. Almost every time I go outside my door, people ask me where I'm from or where I was born. And um, I really like to know why this is such an important question to people because to me it doesn't really matter. So this is why it is such an important question to people. It is just because you look different than the vast majority of other Swedish people. And even though you're a Swedish national, you have a different heritage than the rest of the people in Sweden. And it's just a conversation starter, that's all it is. And it might be a bad one or a good one depending on your perspective. And uh, obviously it's annoyed you, but this is what the guys are using over there as a conversation starter. And I wouldn't, I wouldn't advise as using this as a conversation starter unless you know for sure that that person is not from the country you're in. Right? Sometimes it's easy to pick out, uh, but until you're positive, don't ask. Um, other than being born in another country, I don't see any difference from me and the other Swede. Have you looked in the mirror recently? We have the same culture, we share the same traditions and holidays, and we celebrate the th same things. Yes, that's because you were born and raised in Sweden, so you are a Swedish national. Uh, you're just as Swedish as any other Swedish person, but your appearance is different than any other Swedish person. Or it appears so. And um, I think this is something that we really need to abolish from our society. Okay, beyond just being annoyed, this is where you get completely ridiculous. Abolish from our society. What are you going to abolish from society? The fact that people are picking out differences? How can people not see the fact that you look different? You're a Swedish national, but you have a different heritage. That is obvious, right? And we all know that you have an Asian heritage. It's, it's clear as day. Um, there's no getting around it, really, right? And it's something you have to put up with. And you can take it negatively and say, oh my God, everyone's discriminating against me. Everyone, everyone's going to see that I'm not a Caucasian Swedish person, um, which is obvious. It's like, it's like if you're walking around naked and you don't want people to see that you're naked. Why is everyone staring at me because I'm naked? What are you going to abolish exactly? Are you going to abolish people's ability to distinguish one person from another? Like, are, are we all going to be, a, a, you know, these drones or a, automatons and we, we all look the same, we all act the same and dress the same? You know, it's going to be like a um, kind of Mao-esque society where we all wear that, the uh, Mao uniform? I don't know. So this day-to-day, -day, everyday racism is really growing out of hand. You know, the only way people are not going to see you as being different is if you go to an Asian country. And 
except for possibly uh, differences with fashion or uh, behavior, mannerisms, which are Swedish. People from all different cultures and ethnicities and you know countries that have come to Sweden and see themselves as Swedish people because they were born here, raised here, they lived their whole lives here, but still they they are not included in society because they look different. I think you're conflating two different things here: not being included in society and being distinguished from the rest of the general population because you are different and because those other people are also different, right? Um, there's no exclusion there. It's, it's not insidious racism. It's not the kind of racism where people are going to want to prevent you from getting a job or doing something because you look different. They're simply noting the fact that you look different because you don't have the same background. People ask me where I'm from and I, I, I have a hard time as I said, understanding why this is of such a great importance to them. And um, what I'd like to say with this video is basically, please don't judge other people from their looks. I mean, it really does not matter. Looks actually do matter. It depends what we're talking about. It depends on the context of the conversation of looks. Uh, but looks do matter and people will never stop judging other people based on the way they look. If you see a hobo dressed in rags or somebody who appears to be a hobo dressed in rags, automatically you're going to have a perception about that person because usually people dressed in rags uh, and shitty clothing or dressed up hobos are hobos, usually. So we're going to know they're hobo and there's going to be reasons behind that. There's going to be a lot of stereotypes about that person, a lot of it may not be true and some of it may be true, right? Uh, a lot of stereotypes are based on uh, real things and a lot of stereotypes are just exaggerations of real things. But we're never going to get rid of, you know, judgment of people based on their looks. Every, everyone is going to judge everybody else based on their looks automatically. And it can be a survival mechanism. And yeah, a lot of the time it is not true, uh, but it's, de it's something deep inside of our psyches. And if, if somebody could answer me why everybody thinks it's so important to know where other people were born or you know, things like that, or if it's just like a cultural thing, they want to know what culture they belong to and what cultural differences there are between them, then please um, leave me a comment so I can, you know, try to understand this a little bit more. So yes, it can be a cultural thing too, and like I mentioned before, it's just a conversation starter. Uh, a lot of these guys who walk up to you and ask you where you're from, they just want to talk to you because you're attractive, and that's what it boils down to. They're interested in getting to know you, maybe want to sleep with you, date you, whatever, um, but that's, what, that's their attempt to communicate with you, that's their attempt to connect with you, because they don't know what else to say, and because you look different, that's the easiest way to open a conversation with you, and they don't realize that you're annoyed by this, maybe, uh, probably a lot of people will be annoyed too, a lot of other Swedish people that don't have a Caucasian background, uh, if they're being asked this all the time, potentially, um, but I have a very different perspective on this. I am of a mixed race. I am, I am half Mexican. I actually have dual citizenship with Mexico, but I was born and raised in Canada, here in Canada, and my dad is Caucasian. And because of that, most people think I look uh, part Asian, and sometimes people guess I'm like part native. Very rarely does anybody guess that I am actually uh, have uh, some bit of a Hispanic background, right? And for me, race is just not important. I don't consider, I don't consider myself to be like a Latino or Caucasian, um, I guess it depends which circle I'm in, like if I'm with a bunch of white people, um, my differences stand out more, if I'm with Mexicans, um, you know, I feel at home with them as well, it, it just really doesn't matter to me, and the fact that people are always trying to guess what I am uh, doesn't bother me at all, I think it's interesting, it's a, it's a good conversation topic, right, somebody new you meet and they're going to be curious about you, they want to know about what your background is or if you are actually from another country, like in, in your case it's very obvious, over here in Canada it's a bit more of a, a melting pot, at least over in Vancouver, I'm not sure how it is in Sweden, um, although I did hear the statistic about 90% of Swedes being uh, Caucasian, um, correct me if I'm wrong, just leave a comment below the video, but in any case the vast majority of Swedes are of uh, Caucasian heritage, so it's just an easy conversation starter for people to talk to you, um, because of the fact that you have an Asian background, and for me, it's the same thing when I'm talking to somebody new, they're always curious, you know, what are, what are you, or what, what's your background, or, you know, I was, and I always tell them the guess. It's a fun little game, 
Um, I don't find it offensive at all. Like, I don't feel like I'm being discriminated against. It's not something that needs to be abolished from society. It's just a conversation topic. And, you know, so what? Own it. Own the fact that you're different. Uh, I own the fact that I was different a long time ago. And I have been discriminated against. And I have been... I have heard direct racial slurs against me, or uh, racial epithets. Uh, like when I was 14 years old, this guy body checked me into the boards. I was playing hockey and he called me a chink and skated away. And I had no answer for this. I did not know what to say because for starters, I'm not uh, Asian. And uh, secondly, it's very racist. So I, ha I had no answer to this. I thought, what? Like, this is the first time I heard of a, a racial, you know, somebody called me something racist. Not even the right race. Kind of blew my mind. Um, but I let it go, whatever went on. And uh, through my life, I've heard different things. I've heard uh, people say racist stuff um, when they're around me, because you know, on the street, because they don't know, they didn't know my background is Hispanic or part of my background. And so I heard people talking about dirty Mexicans, and I thought, well, idiots. Um, let them wallow in their idiocy. Who cares? Who cares what somebody else's opinion is about your race? And for the most part, um, what you're talking about in your video is really benevolent benevolent stuff it's like people are just interested in getting to know you it sounds like a lot of guys want to talk to you and that's their big opening line okay and I wouldn't recommend that personally uh, in most cases I wouldn't recommend opening with where are you from because um, yeah and you're you're getting annoyed by it if people are opening trying to start conversations with me all the time by asking me where I'm from I might get annoyed too I remember I was in uh, this, this tourist town in Mexico one time and these Mexicans kept trying to kept calling me an American and I was really annoyed by this I'm not American um, but you know whatever I just learned to accept it because of the fact that I wasn't the same as the other Mexicans there and uh, I don't speak Spanish perfectly um, so my differences were singled out and that's okay it's, it's whatever that's what you know people are gonna automatically spot differences by the people it's how we identify each other and how we identify who's friendly or not friendly, right? And a lot of time it is wrong, but uh, that's just the way it goes, right? We're not going to be right 100% of the time. So I would just say own it. Own the fact that you're different. Uh, it's cool to have differences. I think it's better than everyone being exactly the same. It's better than being like the other 90% of the Swedes in, in your case. And in my case, it's just a conversation topic. When I meet somebody new, I'm talking to a new girl or, or something like that. Um, they always want to know my background. and. It's, you know, and th th there's a lot of stuff we can be sad about uh, somebody's background. We're talking about it. I think it's interesting. And, you know, I'm kind of a, I like knowing um, a person's roots, and I'm kind of interested in my own roots. And I, like I already mentioned, I don't care too much about race. Like in, in my own case, I don't care what race people classify me as, and I'm not like really big into like taking pride in, in things that I have no control over. Like I don't care, like I, I like the fact that I have a Mexican background, I like the fact that I have a uh, Eastern European background in my dad's case, but you know, uh, born and raised here. Uh, it's just, you know, more of a point of interest. It's not something uh, like a point of pride for me. I don't think in most cases it's taking pride for something you're born with that you have no control over, something you didn't work for, it doesn't make any sense, usually. So it's just interesting, that's it. So what else can you say about it? Questions, comments, put them in the questions and comments section in the comments. All right, and that's all for today, folks. Peace out.